Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. So today, I, today I got Redmi Note 10, and uh, request came that uh, make a tutorial video of flashing the latest Android operating system that is Y double A P, Yap or Yap Android 13, the uh, ported ROM for Sunny and Mojito. Both have our same device that is Redmi Note 10. We must have an Android uh, unlock bootloader. I will show that. Uh, I will go to about phone, then will tap the MIUI version for seven times, and then will go back, then go to additional settings, and then go to developer option, and must have an unlock bootloader. If you don't know how to unlock the bootloader, I will leave the tutorial video link in my video description. You can watch that video. Unlock the bootloader of your mobile phone must. and first then you can proceed all the rest steps in this video now do not forget to subscribe my channel if you think that videos are very helpful and also tap the bell icon thank you before starting the procedure must save all the internal storage data this procedure will format everything check the battery should be charged around to 50 to 60 percent and the screen lock must be turned off then go back in case if you are using me account then sync your me account once and uh, remove it same way go to account sync sync your google account once and then remove it and one more thing you must be having a latest me ui 14 version on your redmi note 10 but the yap android operating system requires me ui 13.0.11 so we need to downgrade the mobile phone from me ui 14 to me ui 13 but the android version will be same android version must be android 12 you can simply power off the mobile phone moving towards my computer screen now my downloaded folder where i have downloaded all the files links are provided in my video description make a new folder on your computer and then click the links and download all these files yap operating system and point 13 the uh, rom file which is supposed to be flash vendor image file twrp recovery file for android 12 for redmi note 10 the firmware file miui 13.0.11 which is supposed to be flash first then we can flash the yap operating system after flashing this firmware the yap operating system will get boot if you are having miui 14 and if you try to flash the yap operating system the yap operating system will not get boot you must have 13.0.11 and this is the boot image file First of all when you click the link this website will get open from where we can download the yap operating system now come down here and you need to check the latest release like for example if i can see that 282 this one is old and 283 this one currently latest one and must see the gb the uh, rom file is supposed to be big and uh, if you can see that we are having also 101 byte which is not supposed to be download the big file size is supposed to be download after checking the latest release come to this site and you will see yap 13 sunny and yap 13 uh, sunny etc but you are supposed to download the dot uh, zip file so if you click this one the rom will start downloading and one more thing i will come here and uh, again check the date 28 no this one 28 3 because we have already downloaded the 28 3 2023 the yap operating system file and two more files that are boot image vendor image which which is which are also supposed to be download and flash before flashing the rom file these file are related with the rom file so checking the folder which is starting from 28 3 2023 three click on it and these two file uh, are supposed to be download also clicking on each file will start downloading now i will move to the other website the uh, firmware uh, for redmi note 10 after clicking this link the website will get open with the firmware file 13.0.11 come down here just check redmi note 10 global 
code name Mojito from here 13.0.11 stable and must see that this file size will not be so much bigger 71.3 MB just click the flashable from here blue color here and the ROM file will start downloading we'll go to my downloaded folder after downloading all the things only extract the twrp recovery uh, file here and then uh, double click to open the extracted folder of uh, custom recovery yes i have these files and i have created the batch files for to make the things easy now coming back towards the mobile phone mobile phone must be power off we need to boot the set into fast boot mode check the cable other side must be connected with computer press and hold the volume down key and connect the cable the mobile phone will boot into fast boot mode then immediately release the volume down key set is booted into fast boot mode already connected with computer now coming back towards the computer screen first of all double click the one file the one flash the wrp the recovery flashing will get start the a window will get auto close when it is done then double click the flash to flash reboot the mobile phone will get reboot then immediately press and hold the volume up key before the me logo appears and when the custom recovery screen appears then release the volume up key yes finally custom recovery screen appears the internal storage will pop up on your computer screen now go back to the downloaded folder go back to the main downloaded folder and copy the firmware file mojito 13.0.11 from the downloaded folder and come to the internal storage of your mobile phone double click to open the internal storage you will see all the folders will be having a proper names in uh, paste that uh, firmware file over here when it is done then disconnect the cable from the mobile phone first and uh, tap wipe then tap advanced wipe select delvic art cache then metadata then data that, that's all these three partitions need to be selected and uh, swipe done then go back to the main screen tap install scroll down and you will see that mojito from your file tap to select the file and swipe to start flashing done now go back to the main screen once again tap wipe tap format data type y e s over here then tap here done then tap back back go back to the main screen tap reboot then tap bootloader tap bootloader the mobile phone will boot into fast boot mode once again now connect the cable once again with the mobile phone set it set is booted into fast boot mode connect it with already with computer now coming back towards a computer screen now I will uh, open the extracted folder of TWRP and I will delete the TWRP file. If you want, you can do it. Otherwise, th th there is no need to delete that file. Now go back and copy the boot image file and the, uh, the vendor boot image and the ROM file. Copy these three files from the main downloaded folder. Open the extracted folder of TWRP and paste that three files over here done right okay the things are ready now now it is time to double click the three flash window file double click this file the uh, the flashing will get started the window will get auto close then double click the fla uh, four flash boot image file same will uh, things will happen the window will get auto close when it is done double click on second file the set will get reboot immediately press and hold the volume up key to let the set boot into custom recovery and when you see the custom recovery then release everything from here here the fonts are very small in size first of all you need to press the volume down key to come down reboot to recovery enter fast boot mode apply update apply wipe data factory reset select the wipe data factory reset and press the power key then uh, press the volume down key to select uh, the factory data reset and then they press the power key and the thing will get started done then again press the volume down key come to the enter fast boot and then apply update from adb select apply update from adb then power key and the set will boot it into adb mode 
now coming back towards the computer screen right click cmdexe and then uh, uh, left click on run as administrator click yes on another window the black color command window will get up come to the extracted folder then uh, click the it was operating system file press f2 and copy the only the file copy the file name over from here copy the file name from uh, here then go back to the command window and type adb space devices to check the device is properly connected with computer yes this is serial number and uh, set is booted into side load mode yes the set is booted and connected properly with computer it is time to send the uh, rom file to mobile phone the command is adb space side load space press control plus v the file name will get appears on your command window then press uh, full stop dot and zip then press enter key the flashing will get started and uh, at the same time the rom is transferring to the mobile phone and at the same time the rom is also getting installed on your mobile phone now just uh, wait let the flashing complete then we will continue finally flashing got completed and must see that install from adb completed with the status zero which means that flashing done perfectly now the reboot system now is already selected then just only press the power key to let the set restart and reboot disconnect the cable from mobile phone the mobile phone will soon start booting to yap operating system and you can close the command window and we are done from the computer now just wait the operating system will start booting soon finally the first boot completed didn't took that much time now complete the setup screen we are done and uh, the rom got flashed very perfectly we'll go to the mobile phone settings and we'll go to about phone this is the android version 13 android security update and must see the baseband version number below the baseband the rom got flashed very perfectly and uh, finally we are having some new rom on my redmi note 10 10 definitely you will like this rom because i have heard many many things about this rom that this is the best rom for redmi note 10. i hope that you got helped by this video do not forget to like the video also subscribe my channel thank you so much we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye